In this short video, we're going to see how Hamiltonian mechanics cannot have attractors. It cannot have equilibria and describe dissipative motion. I'm often surprised to find people and even papers that do not seem to have that clear, so let's see how it works. If you have not studied dynamical systems in general, here is a short summary. Imagine this is the state space of our system and we have an equation of motion, dx dt equal f of x. So each point, each x, is a state and each state is displaced in time according to the equation. Now some point may stay where they are, they have no displacement. We call these fixed points. You can also have a fixed region. Now each point in the region may move, but it moves within the region. So each point may not be fixed, but the region as a whole is fixed. Fixed regions are the most important feature of a dynamical system. Now we look at the behavior around the region, the second derivative at the point, to see whether the region is stable. What does that mean? If all the points around the region move toward the region, then the region is stable. Small fluctuation will become smaller. So if the stable region is a point, we say we have a stable equilibrium. If it is a cycle, we say we have a stable cycle. Now, if the points around the region move away, we have an unstable region. And you can have an unstable equilibrium, cycle, and so on. You can also have something more interesting. Along some directions you are stable, you go toward the region, and along other directions you are unstable, you go away from the region. These are called settles, like the one of the horses. An attractor is simply a stable region. Now, those definitions apply for a generic system, but we're looking at Hamiltonian systems in particular. Hamiltonian system, Louis Stieres tells us, conserve phase space areas. This means you can't have a net flux through a closed region. As many states flow in, as many states flow out. Now look, stable and unstable region do not conserve the area around them. Take a stable equilibrium, all points move closer to the equilibrium. The area around shrinks. Same with a cycle. Take an area around the stable cycles, it will shrink. An unstable equilibrium will stretch the area instead. So all these situations are ruled out in Hamiltonian mechanics. Does this mean you can't have fixed region? No, you can. For example, you can have a saddle, as long as the shrink in one direction is balanced by the stretch in the other, so that the whole area remains the same. So let's look at a particular example. This is the phase space diagram of a harmonic oscillator. This is a set of equation, and this is a Hamiltonian. You start at a point, and you cycle around the ellipses. Momentum goes up and down, position goes up and down. All ellipses are fixed regions. The movement remains within each ellipsis. But they are not stable nor unstable. The trajectory do not come closer nor go further. They are semi-stable. If you make a small variation, you just end up in a different equilibrium. Now compare this with a damped harmonic oscillator. Here all trajectories will eventually end up with zero momentum and zero position. That is a stable equilibrium. Areas around that point will shrink. The system cannot be Hamiltonian, and that's basically it. To recap, attractors are regions where trajectories concentrate. Dissipative forces are associated with attractors. Part of the motion slowly fades away. Since areas of phase space cannot shrink during Hamiltonian evolution, Hamiltonian systems do not allow attractors. Be aware that there are some people confused about this, so don't be one of them.